I feel like an ice cube. I'm trying to play it cool, but actually I'm having a meltdown. Welcome back to my channel, Karina here. Having worked in a business casual office setting in downtown Toronto for years before I started my YouTube adventure, I'm going to be showing you guys my go-to work outfits from Monday to Friday. These are classy, wearable, realistic, and the best part is they don't break your bank. So before we jump into these outfits, I actually have 15% off discount code for you guys. 1-5 Karina for 15% off your order, no minimums. So starting off with Monday, which is everyone's most dreaded day. You're waking up late, you're trying to brush your hair and get dressed, make a cup of coffee, shove a muffin down your throat and get dressed at the same time. You don't want to be overthinking your outfit. So for Mondays, I always tell everyone to go for the most classic, the most simple, something that will never ever go wrong. And that is a neutral top with black pants. So I'm already wearing these black pants from Motive, which honestly their quality is so good. It still blows my mind every single time I wear something from Motive, even though my expectation for them is like pretty up there. And each time they have been delivering, even surpassing my expectations. So this is extremely high-waisted. I got this in an extra small and it comes with a belt that's removable. Take it off, swap it in with your own belt. There's a zipper closure on the side here and the front has this little like notched V-shaped detail, which I think is pretty unique. What I like about it though is that the fabric feels amazing and also it's super classy. The length comes right down to my ankles. I got this beige top from Dazzy and what I really like about it is that it's long sleeve. There's no like buttons, there's no zippers, nothing for you to fuss around with Monday mornings. It does come with these ribbon tie things at the front here so you can do something like this just leave it hanging or you can do a bow tie if you're feeling extra feminine the sleeves are cuffed with buttons that are openable the fabric is like a thicker woven type of fabric gonna tuck it into our pants for a more put together look and then when you're done tucking it in don't forget to pull it outwards a little bit and then for shoes we're gonna go with another office classic it's these ones that look very similar to the chanel slingbacks instead of a sharp toe they have a square toe which makes them a lot easier to walk in and then in terms of a bag we are going for something that's also really easy something that goes with everything this is a faux leather tote bag that is large enough to put all of your belongings and then there's a little closure at the front here that goes like this so this is how you would close the bag. I always throw in a cardigan whenever I'm going to the office because if you are in an area like me where for some reason my office is always freezing cold in the middle of summer, there you have it. This is your Monday, running late, running out the door, not overthinking your outfit, but still managing to look professional. Now I know there's some new grads out there. Congratulations who are starting their first job. You might not know this little tip, but if you are commuting to and from your office and you're wondering how people wear heels when they're doing that, they don't. So in this case, you would be wearing something very comfy, ideally runners. What you're gonna do is you are going to be packing up your heels or your sling bags. You either wanna throw them into your bag like this, or you want to leave them at your cubicle if you can. I remember when I used to work in the office, I used to have three or four different pairs of shoes just hanging out in my cubicle. So that is one less thing that I have to coordinate every single morning. I don't have to worry about what shoes to match with what outfit. I know that whatever outfit I have, I have shoes waiting for me at the office. If you guys already know this, everything that I'm wearing in this video will be linked in the description box down below. If you are watching this video on your phone, you can click more and then more again to see all of the links in this video. If you're watching this video on your computer, here's how you can access the description box, which contains all the information that you will ever ever need including my measurements, my height, the size that I'm wearing in each item as well as the prices. So check out the description box. On Tuesdays I like to go with something a little bit more daring. So we're gonna go with a blue shirt this time with some neutral pants. This blue shirt is also from Dazzy. Oh, Dazzy never disappoints. It feels so cooling on the skin, you guys, which is perfect for summer. It has a little bit of a light sheen to it. Despite it being online, I actually think it feels really comfortable on the bare skin itself. You do not have to wear something on the bottom like I'm doing here. It's not see-through, it's lightweight, it's breathable. So we're gonna tuck it into our pants. These pants are also from Motif. Honestly, 
can't go wrong with motif for your everyday work outfit needs love these pants so much they feel like silk on the inside has pleats down the middle along with these button details on the side it is also very opaque so it's not see-through i'm wearing this like butterfly printed and these on the inside and i also like to roll up the cuffs a bit more so it looks less soulless <laughs> in terms of shoes you actually can go with the shoes that we went with in the first outfit but i wanted to switch things up and go with some loafers this time so these loafers are pretty basic they're very versatile and comfortable you can be wearing them on the commute itself or you can leave them at your cubicle because essentially they will go with all your work outfits all you really need is a pair of beige shoes a pair of black shoes you're done. I'm gonna go with a small bag this time. So this look, it's clean, it's polished, classic, it's cooling. It's Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing. Hear me out, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Honestly guys, if you don't know that reference, I really don't want to talk to you. I went with this white ruffle top because I thought the contrast was so interesting. It's just so Chanel vibes. If you guys get anything from this haul, make sure you guys grab the satin skirt because the material just feels so luxurious. Like if you told me the skirt was $100, I would believe you. It genuinely reminds me of all the Aritzia satin skirts out there. It's perfect for going out on a date. It's perfect for going to work. Super classy, feminine, not paper thin. We're gonna go with these sling bags. These are beige with little bow tie details on them. I thought they were so cute. And then for the bag, we're also gonna go with something a little bit more casual. So this is a tote bag that I got from Shein. It just looks super classy. And if you ask me, I think it's a great balance between a casual vacation bag and also a work bag because of the size. And also your bag only matters when you're commuting to the office, right? Like once you're at the office, your bag goes down. So you don't really need a bag to match your outfit. All you need is something to go to and from the office. So I always opt for something a little larger so you can hold your necessities. If your office doesn't allow any sleeveless tops, you can always throw on a blazer or a cardigan. Okay guys, I just found this cardigan. It is so adorable. The quality is seriously out of this world and the way it feels on my skin it reminds me of a little bit of a cashmere there's like contrast paneling all over here gold buttons honestly very 1990s vintage chanel this cardigan is becoming one of my favorites it's also very old money inspired and quite a luxury staple so if you're into that style don't sleep on this cardigan and i know some of you guys don't like to wear pastel colors for work if that is the case you can always change the color so this is a black hoodie skirt. It might be more appealing to those who like to stick to darker color palettes in the office. Let me know in the comments down below which one you like better, the pink skirt or the skirt. Okay, so Thursdays. Honestly, I feel like an ice cube. I'm trying to play it cool, but actually I'm having a meltdown. It is so close to the weekend, but I still need to go to work. Usually I'm not in the mood to play dress up if I don't have any important presentations or anything like that. So I always tend to revert back to the classics, which is black and neutrals. This time we're swapping things around. So we're having black on top and neutrals on the bottom. This is just a black tank top that is rather this fitting so we're gonna tuck it in as always why do we do that girls to create shape and structure without shape or structure our outfits tend to look a lot less put together okay these pants have no pockets which i want to subtract a trillion points for but they do have belt hoops so i'm gonna throw on a belt okay much better i don't know about you guys whenever i'm in a bad mood i find that if i just take a little bit more time to look better and get dressed in the clothes that make me feel good then my day can just perk up like that okay i don't know that made like no sense <laughs> please let me know in the comments down below if you knew what i was talking about or if you feel the same way or if you think i actually cray cray and then for shoes we're gonna go with our trusted black and beige Backs again. Honestly, these are just so easy to put on and so easy to walk in. It's great for just leaving at your cubicle. Ta da! Thursday. For the people who are not allowed to wear non sleeves, I find that blazers are a great option. Something neutral and easy that will go with a lot of the outfits. This is a cropped blazer. This jacket is a little cropped, but it does have a lot of structure and plus it looks tailored. And anything that looks tailored will make you look more business appropriate, professional. Purses wise, we're gonna go with black or beige, either one to have that sandwich theory going on. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna wear two. One on each side, why not? <laughs> if you're
you already have a black blazer lying around your closet, which you really should. <laughs> if you don't own a black blazer, I don't know how you've been surviving in the office setting, but this is an example of a blazer that is not cropped. Ideally for this outfit, I would like this blazer to be a little bit more cropped. So depending on your dress code, you guys can switch up your blazers. If I'm going with this black blazer though, I will be going with this cream bag. I find that with black blazers, you're really making your outfit look a lot more girl bossy, a lot more masculine, if you will, compared to the other one. Let me know in the comments down below which jacket you guys prefer for this outfit down below. Oh my god, I honestly can't decide. <laughs> now I wish I actually worked in the office setting so I can rock these cute outfits. Just kidding, I like waking up at noon. We made it to Friday in one piece, so you know it's time to celebrate. I'm busting out all my casuals and my denims today. The most obvious choice for casual Fridays is to go with jeans. Since we already know that, I'm here to provide you with another alternative, and that is this denim maxi skirt that is all the rage this summer. It's my personal favorite trend of summer 2023. There's so many different ways to wear these and style these, and yes, you can definitely wear it to the office. It's not see-through. The length is perfect. It's still a denim piece, so it's got that casual quality for Fridays. This one has a slit at the back. So on days like these, I like to go with my straw bag. If your office allows for open toe sandals, these ones are the way to go. They are so comfortable, perfectly flat. I think there's like maybe like one centimeter of a heel. Plus they look super designer inspired and they match with the bag. So when you arrive to the office, put the bag away. And if this is still a little bit too casual, feel free to go with these closed toe flats. They're equally comfy to wear. I actually featured this t-shirt usually in videos ago, but for those of you who haven't seen this t-shirt yet, you need to get this, okay? This is the most non-see-through t-shirt you will ever find on Shein, ever. This material is like such a thick material. It almost feels like a cloth version of my kids' felt paper. Those craft paper that they use to like cut it all like animals with. This feels just like that, but a lot softer. If you guys don't believe me, check out the reviews on this. The link will be in the description box. Click on it, go through the reviews and see what everyone else is saying along with their photos because the photos don't lie, you guys. I'm wearing a black bra under and you completely cannot see anything. Oh, I also want to point out that if your office allows for shorts, Fridays are a great day to wear shorts too because you can then transition your outfit from an office appropriate outfit to an after work event, you know, if you have like dinner with friends. So these shorts have a slight pleat at the front here, which makes them a lot more office appropriate. And you can always just throw on a blazer to further tone up the formality of your shorts outfit. You can also use a tote bag. I know tote bags are super popular when it comes to actually commuting to the office because it's lightweight and it just holds everything. Alright guys, so that is one week of affordable, wearable, realistic, and classic workwear outfits. Let me know which one is your favorite and of course, I want to hear from you guys what your workplace dress code is. Are you guys allowed to show your arms, your shoulders, go with open toe shoes? Comment down below so I can make better content tailored to your needs. I love you guys and have a wonderful day.